I'm now in Belfast in the eastern Transvaal and this old house was supposed to be Lord Robert's headquarters during the Battle of Bergendal. Across the road here we have this old corrugated iron building and the building beyond was the old police station. This rather elegant old building up here uh, was at one stage, apart from other things, the town cinema. Every town, dorp and city in this country has got a Fortricker Street and sometimes many of them. And following Fortricker Street, to the right, in this northeasterly direction, we're looking towards Monument Hill, where the British had a major fortification and it was overrun by the Boers on the night of the 7th of January 1901. This is the top of Monument Hill and you can see the base of the monument through the fence. Like everything else in this part of the world, it's chained, barred and made difficult to get into. From here, the countryside falls away in all directions. This was one of the key positions for the defence of Belfast. It was entrenched and fortified as a British post and this is the position that the Boxburg commando attacked and overcame in the first assault on the night of the 7th of January 1901. This is the monument which uh, is erected in memory of uh, some of the old burghers. It was started in 1886 and only completed in 1904. And this is on the top of Monument Hill as I said before. This is the direction up which Commandant Muller's Muller's uh, attack came against the British position. There were absolutely no trees here in those days. These have all grown up since and make it impossible to actually judge what the visibility was like from this point. All the area, <coughs> area around here has been ploughed up or settled or m moved, uh, moved into by squatters and so on and there's nothing here that we could find that indicates where so many men died that night, including Captain Fosbury, who was the British uh, commanding officer at this position. I'm now looking back in the direction of Belfast, which is probably about four and a half to five kilometers in that direction. This road leads up to Monument Hill, which is in the center of the picture here. And beyond this ridge is the town of Belfast in this general direction. And this is one of the coldest parts of South Africa. This is a typical view of the felt. In wintertime, once the grass has been burnt, you can see the huge amount of stones and rocks, which for any defending party can make a, a very strong defensive position when, it, when a battle uh, takes place. Usually these rocks are hidden by grass this high. As you can see, a few of the more prominent ones do stick out here. Well, this is one that Major Ed Meads and his crew did not get. I saw this grave the last time well over 30 years ago, and it's on the road between Dahlstrom and Leidenberg. And it has not been moved to a town cemetery. In those days, this road was all dirt. But I'm glad that I remembered the location. 1st Battalion Manchester Regiment and these for men who died in action or killed in action died of wounds at or near this spot on the 9th of December 1901 and they're still here thank goodness we don't know where these uh, two men are buried these three men are buried but they must have been taken to a hospital somewhere where they subsequently died And that's the stonemason, J. Kane Durban. And these are the names of the men whose graves lie here. Well, we're now on the other side of the road, and this looks like a typical Boer gravesite or memorial. Sorry, Ivan? Oh, the trees, yes. 
Although, you know, it was often a, an easy one to find if you could find uh, uh, cypress trees. That's what the uh, British always used to plant. Okay, here you kriegen. Hang on, let me just get a little bit closer. Okay. Okay. Here you kriegen. Yeah. Here you van de vieren. Yeah. Like the tien. J van de merwe. J de prie. W van de sauw. And M van de sier. Now these will all be men of uh, uh, Muller's commando, which means they are probably Boxburgers. Now this actually tells us that all of these fellows have been reinterred and buried at Bergenau, 1970. This one is a fairly easy translation because this commemorates the, uh, the war and the men who died here on the 19th or the 12th, 1901. But this one says that there are altogether 31 fellows who died here and the others have been buried elsewhere.